What's going on guys? Welcome to Gabe Basham Outdoors. Today's a two-parter. Let's move that out of the way. Right here, guys, you know your boy had to do it. After my video of me slapping bugs with my ball cap, everybody said, you need a bug assault. You need a bug assault. You need a bug assault. So I got a bug assault. Guys, this thing is awesome. Drew, baby, tell them how many flies I've exploded and sniped. Like 20. Guys. He even goes outside. I go outside and I hunt flies. Before I went to the gym a second ago, I stopped by the two big trash cans outside and shot about 10 flies. Pink, 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 pink. This thing is amazing. If you hate flies in your house and you hate stuff like that, super easy. Pop this open, throw some table salt in there, close it up, cock it back, aim and shoot. And this thing explodes flies. It's amazing. Linked in our Amazon storefront. Go check it out. This thing's awesome. Guys, I also have some really awesome fishing content coming up. Some more videos and stuff planned. Today we went to Cabela's yet again. You knew I just did a big haul from Cabela's. And here is some more stuff from Cabela's. Guys, boom. Had to get another tackle box organizer. Guys, I have one of the Guggen Squad ones. The ice box from Guggen Squad. That thing is amazing. I love it. They didn't have any more there. They usually do at Dick's, but Dick's by us is closed. So I went ahead and just picked up one of the cheaper Bass Pro Shop boxes. Seems good quality, not as good quality as the uh, the Guggen Squad one, but it is still really nice. And like how I like, it has the uh, the removable divider, so you can put as long and as short of baits as you need in this tackle box. I love that. Guys, this video is coming up. If Guys, look at this. It is a top water spider. A top water spider. I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. I, I, I feel like I could definitely catch some fish on this. I feel like it'd be a really fun video, but that's creepy looking, and we're going to catch some fish on that. <laughs> that's creepy. You like your bag I picked out, you? Oh, yeah. Drew also picked me out this bag. Check this out, guys. We got rainbow trout, muskies, white sturgeon, pike. I'll get largemouth bass right here. Uh, channel cap. Pretty much, this is literally all the the freshwater fish in our area, really, in, in, in Texas for the most part. I think this... I don't know if there's sturgeon in Texas, though, so I could be wrong. This might be the mo all the freshwater fish in the uh, in the northern America. I don't know, because I don't think we have sturgeon in Texas. I'm pretty sure we don't. All righty, and check this out. Boom! Drew picked this one out, too. That is awesome. It is a top water field mouse. A top water field mouse. Guys, that thing looks crazy. We're gonna catch some fish on that too. <laughs> okay, I'm excited about this, and, and here's why. Guys, what does that look like? A whopper plopper. If you say it looks like a whopper plopper, yes, it looks like a whopper plopper. But what is the difference? Guys, this is basically a weedless whopper plopper. If you don't know what a whopper plopper is, it has the same tail in motion like this, it's a top water lure, but it has treble hooks. So in the ponds I fish, they're too mossy. Moss gets stuck on the treble hooks. It's bad. But this has the hooks like the uh, like the topwater frog that are weedless. So you can go over moss and not get stuck in anything, but still have the whopper plopper action. This is awesome. I've never seen anything like this. Super excited to throw this around and have a good time with this. So guys, we're, we got three soft uh, topwater baits right there. All by the same brand. No, this one's not. Those two are. That one's not, but these are all top water. Top water is fun. What can I say? In the pond, I fish. It's it's a water that's clear in some parts, but a little like very slightly stained, almost like a um a sweet tea that's been watered down. Not super brown, pretty clear, but just a tiny tint of brown. And guys, they love light, vibrant colored baits, especially this time of year. These flukes, I have been slaying bass on these flukes, especially in this colorway. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. This colorway right here, the white fluke with the clear top with the silver speckle. Babe, tell them. It's good. Babe, tell them. It's so good. It is so good. I've caught in so many. Guys, go watch my other, my other bass fishing videos. We have slayed big mouth, big mouth, large mouth on these super flukes right here. I love them. I absolutely love them. So, my local academy didn't have these the other day. 
but they had one pack. This is the last pack they had at Cabela's. So your boy had to grab those. These right here, I absolutely, let me just say this, guys. I love Guggenbaits. I'm a huge Guggenbait fan. Love Guggenbaits. I love the Guggen Squad. I love the Guggen videos. I love Guggen Squad. Guys, their baits are amazing. And in my opinion, they're very fairly priced compared to like Gary Yamamoto, even though guys, everybody knows that this guy's like the best, but I'm just saying, and, and for instance, they make awesome lures. And these white bandito bugs, guys, I'm not a secret fisherman. A lot of fishermen are secret fishermen. They never tell anybody what their secret is. They never tell anybody how to catch fish. They like to keep their honey holes secret. They like to keep the baits they use secret. I'm not like that, guys. I'm not. I, I've never been that way. Guys, when I was in high school, going to every pond in my area, trying to find every single pond I could to try to do a little bit of bass fishing because I don't have access to a bass boat, there wasn't a lot of ponds, guys. And I had to do a lot of driving, and it got discouraging. That's actually why I stopped bass fishing for a long time is because I couldn't find any ponds in my area where I could go bass fish. So for me, when I see a young kid or even a, a, a teenager or whoever out where I'm fishing, you can ask Drew. I always stop. Hey, man, what are you fishing with? Oh, man, because I was fishing the other day, and I was just catching so much fish, and a couple people around me weren't. And I was like, hey, man, what are you fishing with? Hey, they were doing great. They had the same thing as me, but not this color. So I don't know how many packs of these Guggenbaits that I've been like, hey, man, take this pack of Guggenbaits, come fish it, you'll catch fish. And the next time I came, he told me, dude, I caught so many bass on those pack of Guggenbaits. I mean, thank you so much. Dude, you're welcome. Because you know why? I, li I, I like to show other people what it's about. Because in my opinion, what's the point of loving bass fishing if you're not helping other people love what you love? I love it. So I had to pick up a couple more packs of these because I just bought some, but I literally gave them all away. So I had to restock me some of these. These are the last, I would have bought probably like 10 packs. These are the last packs they had, weren't they? Yeah. Of the Guggen Scott white bandito bugs. Got those last bait. I'm taking a long time. I'm, I'm rambling, but look, these look awesome. I've never seen this colorway. These are the Gary uh, Yamamoto Senkos. Guys, everybody knows these are the best Senkos on the market. It just is the way it is. Ah. Uh, the texture, the density of these compared to like other brands, something about his baits, they're, they're a little more dense. They just fish different. They always have. But look at that beautiful colorway. We're, we're keeping it light because the pond I fish, I fish a lot of ponds, but the closest one to my house that I fish, you see a lot of my videos in, they like light colored baits, guys. So I think this is going to do absolutely amazing. Look at that oil on my fingers. Mm. Absolutely amazing in those ponds. I love to throw a Senko. I love to throw Texas rig anything. I Texas rig these. I Texas rig these. I Texas rig these. I Texas rig everything because we're in Texas. So those are awesome. And guys, I've got these ones at the local academy. And they're almost the same as the other flukes I showed you. Except they don't have the clear and white. These are just the pearl white. Guys, these also are awesome right now. And one of my favorite lures to fish in the ponds around me, especially because in Texas, the ponds are usually nasty and muddy and mossy and grassy. Guys, flukes. Guys, flukes are just absolutely incredible. I love fishing flukes. You can see them in every video I post. I'm always throwing a fluke at some point in the video because if I'm not getting a bite on anything else, you better believe I'm throwing a fluke on because bass eat them, bass love them. They choke them. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. And I will tell you that. So basically, guys, a little why to buy these. I'm going to throw that out there. I'm going to link these on my Amazon, too. If you guys don't have access to a quick academy or something or you just want them straight to your door, um, we will link these in our Amazon storefront, the flukes. But let me tell you why. Guys, right around the summer year, right after the bass are done spawning, is your bluegill spawn and your shad spawn. You're like, what is that? Shad are making babies. There's tons of shad running around. There's a lot of things going on. They're moving shallow. Bass are, come, are already shallow because they just got done spawning. So, and most Texas ponds and most ponds, especially stocked ponds, what are bass going to be eating? What is their main food source? And that's going to be bluegill and probably shiners or shad. That's just the way it is. And so when you use something like this, or actually, I don't have them right here, but I have the Guggen Squad flukes. They're called darts for Guggen, the Guggen darts in a blue and gray pattern that looked like a bluegill. If you throw something like this 
and you throw it out there and you pop, pop and pause, that bait's moving all around. It looks like a dying bait fish. And that causes either A, a reaction bite, or they're hungry, they're feasting, that's what they're eating and that's what they're gonna bite. So I promise you, if you throw this almost year round, it could be winter, it could be summer, it could be fall, spring, whenever. If you throw a fluke, guys, you will catch fish. That is just one of those baits that you will catch fish. Lakes, ponds, anything. So if you guys want to catch fish and you've never tried a fluke or you've tried flukes and you've never tried maybe a white fluke or a lighter colored fluke, guys, link to my Amazon. Check out the flukes. They work amazing. Catch a Everything's light colored baits today, guys. I'm sorry. Almost everything is light because right now, like I said, the, the ponds I've been fishing, bass are eating those light colored baits. So right here, I actually have white lunker logs. And we're... <clears throat> okay, if you don't know what the white lunker log is, it's basically Guggen's version of a Seiko and they're white just like all my other baits. Self-explanatory. <laughs> this is white rage tails. Look, these are actually coffee scented. And I love the Strike King baits. Can I smell them? Yeah, you can smell them. I'm about to open them up right now. The, I love the Strike King baits. They're always great. They're tried and true. And these are called the uh, Rage Tails. Smell that. It smells like plastic. It doesn't have a coffee smell. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. Maybe they're lying. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't smell like coffee. It smells like plastic. But anyways, these little Rage Tails, what these are for, guys, if you don't know, <laughs> so people might be asking what's the difference bandito bug i crawl this along the bottom it looks like a crawfish it looks like a bug whatever it is and they eat these off the bottom these what i do with these is i take these and i hook them onto a uh, a chatterbait or a swim jig or something like that and i use this as a trailer you could snip that shorter if you want run it but you just run your hook out of it and that flutters behind your swim bait or your chatterbait or whatever it is. These are great jig trailers and that's what I use these Rage Tails for. If you guys didn't know, I have three doodles. There's two right here and my other one is sleeping. Right we here. caught them on a, on a, um, on a Googer Gawker. <laughs> we caught them on the Googer Gawker and brought them home. The Googer Gawker. <laughs> the uh, Bandito Bug. The Bandito Bug. I said, reel them in, Mose. Actually, it turns out they like, uh, they like white Sankos. Oh, they were chewing the spicy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys wonder who my fishing partner is besides my wife, it is these three beautiful doodles right here. Hey, Claire. You're my fishing bag. Did you see who's not crazy? Yeah. When we get the bass boat, they will all be on the bass boat in life jackets fishing with their mommy and their daddy. It just is the way it is. Something about fishing in the Texas ponds using the just straight worm baits like this, Senkos, Lunker Logs, whatever you want to call them. Dingers, they work great. I actually have three different brands right here. The Gary Yamamoto's I saw a second ago. These black and white ones are actually by Yum, and the, the Guggen white ones are actually on the floor. But something about these in a Texas pond, they catch fish. And so this one, I stayed almost the same with the light colored side, but it also has that black side as well. So right here, you're actually getting best of both worlds on this bait. But anyways, guys, yeah, that is my bait haul for today. Um, there's going to be a lot of content coming soon. A lot of awesome, fun videos. Um, comment down below what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see more challenge videos where I take one specific crazy lure like a mouse or a spider and, and just fish the whole video like that? Uh, mystery boxes, stuff like that? Or do you guys want to see more informational videos where I go the ins and outs of fishing the fluke and how to rig different Texas rig baits? how to fish different things, how to fish a crankbait, my different rods and reels, what I use them for, line, all that kind of stuff, or both. Comment down below, what are you guys wanting to see from me? And I will love to put those videos out for you guys. I absolutely love every single one of you guys. This is so much fun. I've never been more happy just living life than just having fun and posting videos for you guys. Fishing, outdoors, shoot, shooting skeet, fishing, hunting. There's a lot of things going on this year, guys. If you're not already, click subscribe down below. Turn your notification bell. You don't know what you're going to get. Lots of bass fishing, lots of hunting when that season comes, and just lots of outdoor fun content. We love you guys. Thank you so much, and we'll catch you on the next one. Go catch some bass. Guys, go down to the description and get uh, – these are going to be linked on our Amazon flutes, and some of these baits will be linked down below so you guys can check them out yourself. And comment down below, did you catch a fish on it? Also, guys, comment down below, what is your favorite soft plastic bait? Because I feel like most of this video is soft plastic. 
What is your favorite soft plastic bait? How do you fish it? How do you rig it? Let me down below. Guys, see you on the next one. Peace.